It's Friday, October 13th, and I bet you're wondering how many people Toronto police arrested last weekend for impaired operation offenses. As always, I'm going to tell you how many, and then I'm going to share with you some tidbits that I think you're going to find interesting because I love the tidbits. If you don't already follow this channel, my name is Sean Chipper. I'm a police officer with the Toronto Police, and uh, you should be following our channel. We're talking about traffic safety, traffic law, and police stuff every single day. 21. That's right. 21 people behind the wheel of motor vehicles that should never have been behind the wheel of motor vehicles. But there's tidbits. Not every arrest is for impaired operation. Sometimes it's for a refused breath sample. And in this case, 10 people refused to give a breath sample. They're legally obligated to do that. And that wasn't a good move. See, if you provide a breath sample, you may or may not fail. If you refuse, you absolutely fail. You actually get the same consequences as though you failed. So really not a good move. And I guess the biggest tidbit was one driver decided to kick and throw urine at a police officer, and that's while their 13-year-old was in the car. Yeah. If you're going to drive, drive sober. No drugs, no alcohol, that's it, that's all. It's real simple. We want you to get to where you're going and back home again, safe and sound, without hurting anyone, including yourself. Have a great weekend.